Hey, what's going on everybody? Diptesh here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, this is the OnePlus 13, one of the fastest flagship phones on the planet. There is so much performance on tap because the Snapdragon 8 Elite is basically comparable to a last generation Core i5 or Ryzen 5 processor and the GPU is comparable to an GTX 1650 or an RTX 2050 in terms of raw resolution performance while sipping like one tenth the power. However, this phone falls under the sea of performance packed phones that lack a dedicated external desktop mode. Which means it's not possible to extend the capabilities of this phone to an external monitor. And that's a damn shame. I complained about the lack of external desktop modes in my Snapdragon 8 Elite video. But if you've been following this channel, you know I try to find ways to maximize the functionality of these devices and let you guys know about it. So in this video, I'll show you how to enable a sort of usable external desktop mode on the OnePlus 13. But before that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Alright, so the OnePlus 13 has a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C port with DisplayPort Alt mode. And you can connect a Type-C to HDMI dock like this to your OnePlus 13. However, once you plug in your HDMI, all you are able to do is mirror the phone's display, which is not that useful in my opinion. So what you have to do is go into developer options and enable these four toggles. After that, reboot the phone. And now when you plug in your phone, you get this full screen with a giant app drawer button on the bottom right corner. But we already have a problem. Where is the mouse cursor? Uh, as you can see, the mouse is stuck on the phone screen and you cannot drag it to the external monitor. Now here's how you fix this issue. And I really had to break my head to find this solution and it does work like 90% of the time. So first, you gotta lock your phone and after that, carefully, without moving your mouse, make a right click and voila, now the mouse cursor is on your external monitor. This was a major problem that is now solved. but. Here's the next problem. You click on this big ass app drawer button and yeah, it's bugged. It's just unusable, completely broken. Now, how to fix this? Enter Taskbar. Taskbar is an open source application that enhances the experimental desktop mode that was introduced with Android 10, which we are actually using on the OnePlus 13. Open the app, enable Taskbar from the main toggle at the top, grant permission to display over other apps, And there you can see the taskbar arrow in the bottom left corner. And of course you can change its position on the screen. Go to recent apps and grant permission to show recent apps in the taskbar. You can you can also show status icon and clock on the taskbar. You can also display the notification count on the taskbar. Finally, go into desktop mode and enable the toggles and options that you see on the screen. The other requirement to use the external desktop mode is to set taskbar as the default home application. But don't worry, you will be able to use your Oxygen OS system launcher as your primary launcher. And now you plug in your phone to the HDMI dock, you get an external desktop mode with a proper taskbar and a usable app drawer. You can open apps, resize them as you want, you can move them around. You can also play DRM protected content. As you can see, I'm able to open Netflix and stream movies. My favorite use case is actually playing games on the large screen. As you can see here, I am playing Grid Legends using the full screen and a proper 16 by 9 resolution, which you will not get if you simply mirror the display. One quick tip, 
if your external monitor does not have speakers or you don't have speakers hooked up to your monitor you won't be able to get any audio as by default the audio is routed to the hdmi device so all you got to do is pull down the quick toggles click on this three dot menu and choose media output and then select speaker so now the audio will be played back on your phone speaker which are probably much better than most monitor speakers Okay, so all good, right? OnePlus 13 has a perfect desktop mode, right? Well, not really. This is highly experimental and it's been this way for years now. And it's a damn shame that Google hasn't taken up external desktop mode seriously. The toolbar of many apps are not usable as it gets overlapped by the window controls. As you can see here with Chrome, I am barely able to click the three dot menu to open a new tab, just barely making Chrome usable. Sometimes an app opens in a weird way with no window controls. You have to somehow exit the app and then reopen as you can see here with ClickBuzz here. The same happens with Reddit and Amazon app and maybe others as well. YouTube app is almost unusable as the top toolbar of the app is overlapped by the window controls and you cannot click the search button to search for videos. Nor can you click on the options to change video resolution and other settings. It's actually much better to watch YouTube on the browser in this case. And one time what happened was the entire desktop just strangely crashed or bugged out as you can see it went into a white screen. I don't know what caused it and I had to unplug and replug the phone to fix it which closed all the apps. This experimental desktop mode is absolutely not comparable to Motorola's Ready 4 or Samsung DeX, at least not yet. Also, as long as you have this application enabled and set as your primary home application, once you swipe up to go to your home screen, there is a delay to show the home screen icons. It's probably because it's switching from the uh, taskbar application to the main system launcher. So yeah, there you go. So definitely try out this external desktop mode if you are interested. There are plenty of other options to tweak in the taskbar application, which may make the experience better. So please share your experience in the comments. Finally, a request to OnePlus and all other smartphone OEMs, please work on developing a proper external desktop mode. This can be a great selling feature. It's high time now. The Snapdragon 8 Elite coupled with Android 16's upcoming Linux terminal integration with hardware acceleration we are almost at the doorsteps of running desktop applications directly on our phones and tablets and having an external desktop mode will only greatly enhance this experience all right guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching make sure to hit like share and subscribe to our notifications take care and i'll catch you in the next one peace